Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey here, and guess what time it is? Can you guess? Did you guess that it's time for the Pitch Correct audio? That's right, the first one of the year. This is the audio that really solidifies most of our guesses and probably some of your guys as well. And so we're gonna go through, I mean, we only have really four to go through, but uh, we're gonna do that. Let's do it right now. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. We're trying to hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so uh, every subscription definitely helps. Anyway, let's get started. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you stumbled upon my channel, someone shared it with you, pretty much what this is is every single week we get brand new clue packages for The Masked Singer, and in those clue packages are the celebrities speaking. But Fox is smart. They're like, look, we can't let them speak with their real voices. People are going to recognize it. You know, they're going to be like, oh, I know who that is. He did that one movie with that famous person. And so they take their audio or their voiceover, they speed it up, and they pitch it up. That way you have no idea who it is. Now, sometimes they also speed it down or pitch it down. It kind of goes back and forth from time to time. Now... I'm an executive audio producer here in New York City, where it's my job to go ahead and make the audio sound good. And so when I first heard The Masked Singer, the first episode of season one, I was like, oh my gosh, I could probably reverse engineer that audio to hear the real celebrity's voice. And that has helped us to guess almost every single person right. We've only got one wrong. The Eagle. I'll never live it down. We're trying to get Dr. Drew on this channel. We were supposed to have him last year, but COVID. Uh, but let's go ahead and break down the audio we have for this season. Now, if you watched my video this past week, the recap videos, you know that I pitch correct them speaking to the judges. I do that from time to time just because sometimes that audio, it's a lot easier to pitch correct because it's instantaneous versus the other stuff where it's been produced and there's stuff on top of it. But for the case of this video, we're going through the clue packages. I'm going to go ahead and play a little bit of the clue package, and then I'm going to play my pitch correct audio while you're listening to it. Please comment below who you think it is. I will give you a warning that the baby audio, because he is talking in an accent and pitching himself up, it's the pitch correct audio is not that good. It's not our fault. It's just we're pitch correcting to the way that he's speaking. And so if he talks like this, that's what you're going to hear. You know, even after they pitch it up, it's not going to sound normal whatsoever. But I will tell you right now, the bull and the hamster, you're going to hear the voice and you're going to know who it is. Anyway, let's go ahead and play the pitch correct audio for you guys. Here you go. When I was in school, I marched to the beat of my own drum. There was one place that I felt the most free to be myself, my garage. In that dusty space, I created my own world. When I was in school, I marched to the beat of my own drum. There was one place that I felt the most free to be myself, my garage. In that dusty space, I created my own world. I put on shows, I gave the best performances, and my shows were always sold out. At least in my head, they were sold out. I lived on my own planet, and tonight I'm singing a song that reminds me of that time. I feel like I'm forever a student, but you know, the biggest thing I've learned is that life happens. School was always easy for me. I had a full ride scholarship. I feel like I'm forever a student, but you know, the biggest thing I've learned is that life happens. School was always easy for me. I had a full ride scholarship when I got some unexpected news that changed everything. I was forced to take a different course, but I learned life lessons I'd never get in the classroom. Success isn't measured in the diploma, and it turns out that pivot in my life was the greatest degree I could ever get. So I've decided to sing a song for all the women out there who put their own dreams on hold for others. I wanted to become the hamster because, unfortunately, my body is shaped very much like a hamster. And also, I felt stuck in a bit of a wheel. I wanted to become the hamster because, unfortunately, my body is shaped very much like a hamster. And also, I felt stuck in a bit of a wheel going round and round. 
I mean, who hasn't felt all cooped up the last year or so? But it has been difficult because I'm kind of like the guy who's always jumping from one project to the next with my famous friends. I'm used to being in all kinds of arenas, and this last year has been tricky trying to keep momentum going. But now I'm breaking routine so that I can let out all that pent-up energy as the wild card. I promise I'll be the teacher's pet. I might be just a newborn in a diaper, but I'm larger than life. I was part of a baby rat pack, and we was famous for throwing punches. I might be just a newborn in a diaper, but I'm larger than life. I was part of a baby rat pack, and we was famous for throwing punches. Get my hands dirty in the action. I got blockbuster hits, award-winning album. Radio play, I've even replaced Schwarzenegger in a film. And now I'm here, it's a wild card to make the whole world a giant playpen. So there you guys go, you got to hear the four of them speak, I'm sure. By now you know at least two of them, if not three. Let me know in the comment section, go skunk-whoever, bull-whoever, so on and so forth. And I want to thank you guys for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. Anyway, I want to thank you for joining me. I'm Joey. Stay safe, everyone. See you later. Bye.